as you see i wear hearing aids if i don't wear my hearing aids i can't really make out words like i can only i can hear like certain sounds but i can't make out words but being made fun of for wearing something that's going to help me wanted to share my experience as a person who's disabled i don't really like talking about my disability neither do i like to make a mention to people i meet or just in a sense of social media i don't like putting a big light on it i've always worried about how to live normal and to live like everyone else i've been wearing hearing aids since i was nine years old When I was going to high school, I stopped wearing them. I stopped wearing my hair and ears because I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be normal. Like, it's weird because when I didn't wear hair and aids and people didn't know I wear hair and aids, it's like whenever, like, you get mad or try to come at me, there's nothing literally you can say. I remember, like, one of my classes, I had to be in, like, a... And on like a remedial class, like one of those like, you know, like you have your regular classes and because if it's too challenging for you, they have to take you out of that class to put you in a different type of class. Like I'm not saying it was for like mentally challenged people, but people who I guess needed that extra help. So it was like, you see how like weird that is, like because I wear hearing aids, I have to be treated like. I have a problem with learning and that was so embarrassing like you don't understand like I just didn't like the fact that I wasn't treated like everybody else and that's all I wanted so if I could wear my hair nails and be treated normal I would have been I would be able to break that what you say what did you say when people don't know um, they kind of think that I'm being, like, rude. Especially when they're talking to me or if they have said something to me that I missed. So they would think that I'm being a total at which I just can't hear you. Because <laughs> I know that being younger and being, a, being bullied by wearing hearing aids... Even now, like, you don't understand. Like, even now, there's grown people who come at me because I wear hearing aids. I know Bernard be like, oh, you gotta let that go. And it's it's weird. And people suck. And I understand that. I still like trying to shut off trauma that comes with it. And, and it's not because of what other people are saying. It's because I'm being made fun of for wearing something that's going to help me. And that's hard. There's certain jobs that deny people because of disability. Alright, so my camera died. I didn't charge it the way that I didn't charge my camera, which is like my bad. Now, if you already have all the support without, and I'm not talking about somebody feeling bad for you, but just that emotional support, like for people to just hear you out and hear why it hurts. You know, that type of support, being able to have that, being able to have people around you that just listen and that can hear and be a comfort for you while going through this and i feel like i like that a little bit you know in all my life i've heard like oh don't let words hurt you sticks and style make break your bones but words don't hurt you damn it if y'all don't stop saying that to these kids and saying that to these people go research why words hurt boo boo able to heal from this it took a lot a lot of years i just started wearing my hearing aids a year ago Sometimes I, I now, now it's kind of like I'm getting used to it and it's like wearing a mask. 
I forget to wear I forget to put my hair nades on like I'll run out and be like dang I forgot to wear my hair nades but it's not no more like oh I don't want to wear my hair nades because I don't want nobody to see me with my hair nades on no I feel like this I, I live out here and I can be myself and I'm no longer held by other people's opinions. You feel me? I can be free and happy. I don't want to be viewed as that girl with the hearing aid or that woman with the hearing aid or she has a hearing problem. That's the first thing I don't want to, I guess, identify myself with. Um, it is part of me. It's who I am, but it's not all who I am. I'd rather be identified as if she's a nice person or if she's a mean person, is she a cool person or if she's not. I mean, I'd rather be identified by my character than by my disability. <laughs> Can a disabled person live RV life and van life? Absolutely. Absolutely you can. I would suggest like if you have a disability that you do need help, I would suggest having someone there with you just to be safe. I'm not saying I'm not trying to discourage anybody who have a certain type of disability because some are more extreme than others. But I would suggest to have someone there with you or someone that can help you along with this journey like for mine i'm happy that i have my family along with me it's gonna keep nobody tell you you can't do this don't let don't because if you do then you will miss out on a lot and i have and i've had personally told have people told me that i can't do certain things because of my hearing you know, there's so that I wouldn't say so many, but I had someone told me that I couldn't do something or had treated me like I can't do it. And I felt like I missed out on a lot of things because of that. And because of somebody told me that it was like, dang, I was more conscious on things I can do and can't do. I'm not saying it's their fault or anything like that, but um, I should have been stronger. And that was my fault. So if you are a person who I do or is looking into this lifestyle, go for it. It's with your lips. Oh. You see what happened when you wear your hearing aids? You can hear yeah. better. <laughs> In terms of me being comfortable with who I am, being comfortable with who Nia is. I can hear you, but I'm, my oh. hearing is fine. Clearly, as you can see, it's right here. See, all up in here. I can hear you. So we out here. Even people with disabilities are living this life like we out here. So like this video. Smash that subscribe button with the click. Smash, smash, bang, bang. And you know, comment down below whether or not you like this video. Other people judge me and being able to feel like I'm an outsider. So I get to to live peacefully in my RV. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's just away from everyone else. And I can just be myself. You feel me? So I'm happy. And I wouldn't be able to do it without my family.